Alright guys, we're doing something different today. This is EU4, or Europa Universalis 4, and we're playing as Serbia, because the Balkans are, of course, the most stable area in the entire world in this time, and Serbia, admittedly, is a strong choice in the Balkans. Now, I've done a bit of setup here. We have the estates already more or less how I like them, uh, just free enterprise for the burgers, a couple of fancy things, the patriarchs, the nobility, basically it allows me to get um, a general ship every once in a while, which has given us our first general as a 4-1-2-1. One, one. Of course, the foreign fire is way less helpful than foreign shock this early in the game, but that's eh, what we got. And then another couple things like, for example, uh, there it is, diplomatic reputation plus one, and of course yearly patriarch, yearly patriarch authority plus 0.5. Now, I did also get a pretty nice estate agenda here. This won't always happen which does allow me to basically get free claims on part of Bosnia, which will be, hopefully, the first thing that I conquer. Now, with that in mind, we have an alliance with Wallachia. I'll probably go as long as I'm feeling happy to do so. Uh, for this, I do love me some EU4, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. It's a bit of a change of pace. It is something that I quite enjoy, and let's take a look here. We can complete the Moravian Arms Serbian Mission. Army size at least 100% of force limit. Yeah, we do have that. That's fine. Now we need to get an alliance with Hungary, which we'll work on right now. So let's take a look at this and relations actions improve. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that we can get this because my own favorite way to um, play as Serbia is a bit more, by the way, we're just declaring on the. Oh, that was silly. That's fine. On the uh, very first day that we can do so, which is the 12th. There we go. Wallachia will not come in, but that's fine. We'll declare this for the conquest of Adrinja and go into the war. Now, I would like to fight them early, but I don't want to fight them on a mountain in Zeta. So, uh, actually, here we'll get Defender. A little sloppy. Again, I'm not exactly a Ludiet Historia or somebody who's quite that crazy good at this game. It's just something I enjoy playing when I have the time, and I don't particularly feel like doing more war game or anything like that. Now, we'll get an alliance with Wallachia, that's good. Now, we, we are also Orthodox, which means that Catholics will not exactly be our biggest fans, but that's fine. We, most importantly, need to stay alive by keeping the Ottomans from killing us, and we need to expand westward and then hopefully into Italy, that's sort of my goal here. We can cross the strait without too much trouble, depending on how alliances uh, sort of end up here. And it is a little risky, allying Wallachia will abandon this at the first second that it possibly appears like it could be going south, which it very well might very quickly, we'll have to see. But in the meantime, it could be okay. Uh, a little bit of a combat trick here, let's go ahead, oh no, I don't want to go in on that right now. If there are only five. I would have basically left, excuse me, left one man on Vesilki. I think that means tall, yes? Vesilki? Yeah. And uh, gone in basically two to one outnumbered the Cilian armies there, but we have the siege that we need at Vesilki, and as soon as we take that, it's just a matter of mopping up the remaining infantry from Bosnia and Sili, which shouldn't take too long. Now we'll take this. We'll also go into Herzegovina, which usually does not have. Uh, too many allies, if any at all. Might get a guarantee from somebody who doesn't like us in the area, but unlikely. And then the biggest thing that we need to do is we need to either ally the Ottomans, or we need to... Uh, why can't I do this? Hmm. Manage attitude, threatened. Good. Uh, that'll help us get alliances away from the Ottomans. See? Um, if we can ally Hungary, that's fine. Eventually we will want parts of Croatia. After all, that is arguably Balkan-ish, I guess. Um, and we will want that. But having the Hungarians on our side should allow us some security from an early Ottoman conquest war. Which, since they have changed their missions a little bit with the newer updates, I think they should after Byzantium first. Uh, we'll see. I'll really only get worried if they've taken out Kandar, Karaman, places like that and left us alone. So there goes the Caesar Visoki. We're going to say, okay, don't do that. And these guys definitely want me to take that fight. I don't want to do it with a river crossing. So let's go up and 
Now, when we attack in, we'll be defending on hills because it's our fort. If you've never played this game before, I do highly recommend it. It's different from Wargame Red Dragon. It's going to be a little bit new to most people in my audience, but, um, well, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it can definitely get a little bit annoying depending on what happens, and right now I'm just retaking the war goal before we go over and smash them in Selge, which might not be the best idea, but I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of chasing. Oftentimes it can end up, particularly when you don't have a morale advantage, which we currently don't, it can end up being a little bit of a just high losses strategy. When I don't need to completely wipe out Bosnia in this war, it'd be nice if I did. But we could alternatively vassalize them. We could alternatively take three out of four. Uh, we don't necessarily need to go in for all four. Let's see how much this would cost us. Yeah, that'd be pretty nice. So 103 admin is the cost. We're at 140. Of course, I think I will also grant the religious state. We're down to 15% crown land. But we're going to be also boosting development in Kosovo. Uh, in the state of Rasya relatively soon. So let's go ahead and do that. This is because it gives us a gold mine, gives us more money. So let's go up to five. It's not as high as we need it to be, but it's basically the reason that we're mostly positive in terms of income right now. And let's go to Zagreb, and we should be able to defeat the Sicilian armies here and end this war. If we can get Selish to white peace out, it's good enough for me. We don't need to siege them down. It's just cost us more men. Um, more men than I want to spend on this. So show province, go to diplomacy here, and no, they won't. Ooh, one more month. This should go to white peace. Yep, there it is. And boom. White peace. Good. Great. Awesome. Claim on Herzegovina. Take all their money. There you go. We've also completed our state agenda, which was that last little piece that we saw. And this is looking good. Uh, no it's not. Okay, so they want the province of Bosna right here. Did not realize they had a claim on that yet. That looks like it was a manual claim, not a mission claim. Okay, so we're still, we're at army capacity now. I want the war with Herzegovina as soon as possible and we need to start improving with anyone else we might be able to get a alliance with who isn't crappy. Byzantium is a crappy ally for right now. I don't want to go in against the Ottomans early. Some people can manage it. I prefer to wait until I'm a bit stronger. Um, we could probably beat Hungary if they declared on us, particularly with Wallachian help. They do have a good general. Uh, okay, so Bohemia is an option. They're nearby. They're only negative 18. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably going to be our best one. Ooh, was that Venice? No. Aragon, okay. Unhappiness among the Patriarchs. Let's lose the prestige, gain the Patriarch Authority, which I think is probably the better play. Let's check out Austria here for an alliance. We can get one. No, okay. Very well, let's do that. And then, I don't know, I was hoping we get more out of saying that we're threatened by the Ottomans. Is there any other way of doing this? Only if Hungary no longer exists. And that, by the way, would have given us two free provinces, more than likely, would have given us Astrem and Nendofir here. Uh, this one. These two. <laughs> <clears throat> That's what it would have given us, just out of good relations. So it would have been nice to have done that before the war. Probably should have done that. But I like starting off with uh, eating Bosnia. They don't always claim that land either, so sometimes you can get away with this. If they lose the claim, let's see, Hungary, yeah. If they lose that claim in 71, we might be able to make this better. It's just such an absurd penalty, because they want our province. It's 116 for one province. It should be probably a little less than that. Uh -oh. Okay, so let's go for increased discipline, and we're going to go for yearly inflation reduction, in part because we already are getting inflation from our gold mine. Plus 2.4. Not exactly ideal. Uh, it's the price of having a good early game economy from a gold mine. We're getting 3.26 ducats a month. That's more than the rest of our income combined. That's why the inflation is so high. Uh, that percentage goes down, then we're in less trouble for it. So let's see. We need five more. We'll be able to claim the other province of Herzegovina. They still have 
no allies, so we'll do that. And who do we rival? Who hates us? Enemies, Ragusa, Albania, we're going to leave that open. I don't feel like making enemies right now. It does not seem like something I should do. Would be nice. Okay, if we rival Hungary, they're going to invade us. But we might be able to get an alliance with Bohemia first. Which could potentially mean that they go in against Bohemia as well. It's good protection. It would be just excellent protection for us. Uh, I think instead we're just going to let the improved relations take care of it, if we can. And try to take Herzegovina and Hum. So, let's see, one more month. One more month we'll make that claim, we'll get our diplomat back, and we'll call it good. And actually let's go ahead and enable attach here. Uh, did it, wait. God, I did that the wrong way. Uh, allow attach. Oh. There it is, that's the claim. And you guys will attach to first star. Alright, go. And. Uh, which one of these? Okay, that's the fort. We'll clear for them. Take out their army. Yes, it's on a mountain. Yes, it should be fine. Oh, yeah. We're fine. As good as it could be? No. Oh, but let's go attach there. This is only size one. It only needs 3,000 men to siege it down. I see zero reason that we should have um, that we should have our own army doing that. Other than the leader, we do have one siege pip here, so as soon as we take home, we will uh, switch that out. No sense letting our own men die. Mercenaries for this. Pretty thematic for the era, I would say. Of course, we do have to stand on it for just a bit so we don't lose siege progress, but these things can happen. All in all, a fair amount of dev pretty early. It'll slow us down on technology, so at the beginning of the game you start with um, a fair amount of technology that you can research pretty soon because you're not ahead of time on it already. Uh, in fact, we start at 3 across the board. You can go up to 4, go up to 5 pretty quickly, and our own gains right now are not great because 2, 2, 3 is not very good. So we're going to actually disinherit our heir. 2, 1, 1 is unacceptably low. And we're going to try to marry him here again. Good. Yeah, I mean, we're 70. This is probably going to cause a succession crisis. Or not. Um, ooh. Noble from House Draculeski. Succeeds to the throne. Very nice. Very, very nice could actually get a personal union with Wallachia. Not right now, but after a little bit. Or worst case, we could, could actually get them to um, get a personal union over us, which doesn't sound great until you realize we could then get allies from an independence war. So anyone we could convince to support our independence would then become an ally once we are free. It's a nice way to cheat around the alliance system. Um, it's a little cheap, to be honest, but so far, Europe looks about like Europe should look. Nothing really too crazy here. I'd imagine the Ottomans are going to be going for if they're fighting Epirus, just Epirus. That's weird. Okay, there goes Herzegovina, and we're going to take both of these. We're going to take all their money. Seems good, and once we start pouring those up, now we can make states in the state of Croatia, should then allow us to drop the autonomy once we have a month thick. So, so far so okay. Let's go ahead and put our leader back here. Now we have a couple of choices. We could go after Venice, but Venice are very strong at the beginning, plus they're allied to Aragon, so we have no chance of defeating 24,000 men with 12,000 of our own. We have to go into debt. Pretty severe debt, to be honest. Not really something I want to do right there. Once we can actually core, well, state the uh, state of Bosnia, instead of making it a territory, we should be able to get some nice stuff done. Kataro. Interesting. Heck is Kataro? Usually I know these pretty well off the bat. Okay, that's part of Venice. No, don't want that. Let's go with um, Ragusa. 15% or more trade power. Should be more manageable. Entirely. 
Okay, so Venice is guaranteeing Albanian independence allied with Hungary, because of course they are. AI never struggles to get alliances as much as we do. It's a uniquely anti-player binds sort of thing. But at least we can get Bohemia. Good. It's a fair amount of numbers. Should at least make Hungary think twice. Maybe not the Ottomans, but certainly Hungary. Now that we have Wallachia and Bohemia on side, we can go after Poland as well. Uh, but we're allied to the rival with Bohemia. That's unfortunate. It really is. Oh, a monarch death we get a von Habsburg. Great. That's awesome. That That's pretty cool. Our Bohemia von Habsburg? How did this happen? Yeah, they're von Habsburg. Interesting. Yeah, I'm content with that. Uh, Bosnian separatists. Figures. <laughs> I think I'll leave it at that. Figures. Patch in. And let's see. Hills, woods, hills, mountains. Let's stand on the mountains. It's the worst place for us to fight into, so it's the best place for us to prevent them from getting a foothold. Uh, Naples doesn't like us, but they could be a strong ally. Pope Man doesn't like us, and I don't care. Let's see. Let's improve with Ottomans. They're only negative 48. If we say that, uh, if we can get them up to positive, they might not attack us for a little while longer. And we might even be able to get them to ally um, against Hungary. We are threatened by Hungary. Have a good Diplo reputation. We'd need stronger armies, and we'd need to build trust, which doesn't really seem likely at this point. Hmm. Should be okay. Should be A-OK. -okay. I'd like to drill my armies, but I can't do that with Bosnian separatists. We'll kill them, but it'll take a little bit of a toll from our manpower, and that's not exactly a big deal. Let's go up to four. This while this stuff is uh, going by while we're planning our... Oh, hey, it was in the mountains. We're planning our next move. So now we can drill. Good. And uh, for those of you who don't know, this does increase your professionalism, which basically just gives you bonuses. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't really show them. Interesting. Yeah, basically makes your units better. Always a good thing. We could also consider getting rid of the free company, but it's not like it's something that we can't pay for right now, uh, which is often its own consideration. What I want is I want Mil Tech 4. And by the way, we're up to 18.9% of land. Could be a little bit better, but we can go up one more time in Kosovo, get ourselves some more money. Uh, okay, state that, state that. Good, and what's our percentage of land? 19.94. Hmm. Could go up to even more gold. I'm not sure that's worth it. Might be a little greedy, because we are behind on tech. We won't be forever. Uh, monarchies, you have enough ways. Usually when you have more time than we do, you can disinherit enough heirs to get a good... Truce of the Ottomans is up. Here comes the true test of whether or not we're ready. I'd like another, like another fort on Zeta, it's on the mountains, would allow us to really just protect ourselves that little bit better. Uh, you can take often two to one losses on mountains, well two to one, ooh, I'm warned, okay, that's fine. Uh, Alright, what's the play here? Blonde, Venice, Naples, uh, I guess we can try Naples. May as well. Improve relations with some people. And let's go for Austria. Corruption bribe, that sucks. Okay, good, good. We also did pass our rivals by attacking up a little bit, which is both good and bad. Um, I don't want to rival either of these guys other than maybe the Pope. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Talented and ambitious daughter. Awesome. 565. Five. Or we can get a Habsburg if we die. And we will die very quickly before this person is of age. Let's do it. Let's take the 565. Five. This could be a game winning air right there, where we just get enough monarch points to develop our way out of our dangerous situation here in the Balkans. Okay, good. Nice event. 
pretty rare you get stuff like that, but when you do, make hay while the sun shines, and let's go ahead and rival the Pope. Just to make a statement. We're, of course, Eastern Orthodox, which means he cannot excommunicate us. We do not care. And, okay, Naples, that will help us with Naples. Uh, we have to accept that. that sucks. Okay. Let's decrease our autonomy. Yeah, it's pretty high. Okay. Let's do this the efficient way. Boom, boom, boom. And yes, this will reset Unrest, where we just killed that rebellion. But that's really not the end of the world, because we need the autonomy. We need income from it. We need manpower from it. We need force limit from it. We need all of that stuff in order to make ourselves a bit stronger, which that's that's this game. You make yourself incrementally more capable until you are able to achieve your goals. And let's go up to 15. That kind of hurts my soul not to have a symmetrical army. But, uh, well, needs must. And all that. We would be able to get temples and marketplace if we hadn't have done the conquest and we hadn't have devved Kosovo. But I think it's probably worthwhile. As long as we get our castle built, I'll be feeling okay. It would also be nice to have one probably in Visoki as well. That way we just have this little section that we can bop back and forth between. Uh, it'd be nicer if we had a couple more provinces in our interior. We really need Srem and uh, this other one. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to be able to get those anytime soon. That's yeah, just how it is. We'll figure it out on the way. Naples likes us. Naples could do an alliance if we improve relations, which we are. Good. Probably should have thought about that earlier. That will be our fourth relation slot, so... Oh no, only three. Okay, Wallachia, Bohemia. Good. Good. Hostile attitude at plus 46. Probably gonna have to leave this guy here. I don't want to, but I think it's probably our best decision. And let's go up to another infantryman. We should, when we hit lower autonomy, we should have enough Let's see, it's 19. Oh, uh, shit, there's no way. This really sucks, because we're, we're losing autonomy per month. Well, we're, we're gaining autonomy, which means we're losing control every month because of the low crown land, but we're trading that for monarch points, so it should be worthwhile. Okay. Uh, it's better. Let's detach here, move away. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot better looking Serbia than it started. You know, we took a lot of land. The question is, who will be strong enough to take on next? If we can call in Bohemia and Naples, we could take on Venice. That is almost certainly a go. Hmm. Especially if we're able to capitalize... Oh man, that's a nice general now. Especially if we're able to capitalize on the Ottomans potentially going to war with them, which does happen very often. That's making me nervous. Okay, you're too close to my borders to make me happy. Uh, ordinarily, I would take the mercantilism, but we can't afford 25 diplo points right now. Okay, our air is doing okay. Legitimacy is a little low. It should go up, but not by a ton. All right manpower or fort defense. That's an interesting choice. I actually don't know which one I want right now. Uh, okay, we need the prestige. Good. That, that at least is easy. Hopefully... Oh, come on. How far away are we? How much better? 17 versus 15. How is that... How is that so much of a negative? Oh, navy strength. Right. I can read. We don't have any boats. And they care that we don't have any boats. Okay, we're dead. Uh, it's alright. Let's boost that stability up. Okay, well that's fine. Um, ooh, wait, we're 15? How are we 15? I thought we started off... Okay, fair enough. I mean, I guess why argue with it, right? That seems like a good thing. And actually, it could be a good starting... Well, a stopping place for us today, because... Zeta has just built our mountains. We have a new ruler, Krojika uh, Jelena the first Brankovic, who I probably slaughtered that in terms of pronunciation, doing my best. And uh, one of the best rulers you can get in the entire game. So it's a little different. We're going to have a couple more episodes of it while I am gone, just because, well, I enjoyed it. It was pretty stressful the last couple weeks, and 
well, here we go. So I hope to uh, see you guys in the next one. And for anyone who might be new, it would be pretty nice if you leave a like, share, subscribe, all that YouTuber nonsense. We'll see you again real soon.